What up, folks? I'm Ultrasound, and I have a review of the Transformers Studio Series Buzzworthy Bumblebee Optimus Prime number 102. This is uh, from Rise of the Beasts. Um, there's, there's, there's your little beast guy. <laughs> little beast guy, there he is. Um, but this is in the Buzzworthy line, which, if you don't know what that is, it is the Target exclusive line of Transformers. And sometimes they do studio series in it. So, uh, But I'm really surprised, honestly, that they made Prime an exclusive. Um, I, I think that was a little bit of an odd choice. Now, it wasn't 100% exclusives, as most are not these days. They do make a limited quantity available on Hasbro Pulse the day it goes up for pre-order. Uh, and uh, that's where I got mine because uh, me and Target, we don't mix much uh, lately with pre-orders. Uh, and I think that's across the board with everybody how they feel. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm glad I got it because I really wanted it. You guys know I'm a huge Prime fan. So without any further ado, let's get to this review. So like other Studio Series releases, this comes with a uh, backdrop for you if you want to display your figure on it. I don't know if anybody actually does that, but um, here's the figure. And uh, there's the display. It does nothing for me personally, but maybe it does something for you. And here is Optimus now, properly right out of the package. And uh, he's all armed up. He's got two weapons. He's got his sword, which uh, looks pretty nice. I do uh, like it. Uh, I think it's very, very cool. Nice um, yes, uh, gunmetal. A little blue at the end. It's pretty good. It's, it's a nice color. I mean, I like, I like the gunmetal, guys. This is going to be a theme. Um, he can put it in his hand. He can put it over there. Wherever you put it, I think it looks cool on him. I like Optimus with a sword. It's not bad. Um, and it's a very, very nice sculpt. So this is awesome. This, however, is not. Uh, I hate the gray plastic, and that's going to be a theme here, guys. But the gray plastic to me is just grating. I just, at this point in 2023, I cannot stand the use of this light gray plastic uh, that Hasbro always does, and it always brings down the quality of the figure to me. Um, if they're gonna use it, throw some black wash on there. Make it dirty looking. S a little bit of something. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is great. I love the gunmetal. Uh, this is not good. I mean, just as is, there's, there's, there's no way you can tell me that this is any good. I mean, I'm I'm really I love Transformers, um, but I feel like this brings it down. But before we get more talking about that, this here, uh, this little cannon, isn't great either. I mean, it's just in that gray. Yes, it blends in, but I mean. It's in the movie. It's a lot bigger and it looks cooler. And there's all th kinds of things going on. And this just kind of looks pathetic, in my opinion. Um, there's nothing good looking. I mean, it's fine little sculpt, but I mean overall, it's just it's not so great. I don't know. It it, it just doesn't do anything for me. Uh, and then you need to open it all up here to get the fist out. It's it's not that easy. It's not that easy to uh, get this out of here. Oh yeah, this this would help. Opening that would help. Oh uh, boy. But anywho, those are his weapons. This one's nice, the other one isn't. Uh, some axes would have been cool. Uh, I I'm like having a hard time remembering if he come, if he has his blaster. I know the mainline figure for the movie came with the blaster, but I can't recall... I've only seen the movie once so far, and I can't recall if he uses his regular blaster in it. Um, but, you know, this and this for sure, and I know he uses axes, I'm pretty sure. But there you go, that's the weapon. 
just to break up some of the ranting, let's do the articulation next, which is actually pretty good. The uh, head is on the ball joint and it moves pretty well. The shoulders could go all the way up here and then do that. It's pretty good. Swivel at the bicep. You have a nice, you have a double jointed elbow actually, which is pretty great. Uh, it could go backwards too. <laughs> He's ambidextrous. Ambidextrous, wow. The wrist swivels, can move a little bit back and forth, which is good. Swivel at the waist. This whole assembly comes out, so you do kind of have an ab crunch. Sort of, but I mean, yeah, I mean, why not? I, 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 I'm going to consider it. I'm going to consider it that, you know? Um, then these flaps come out, and the legs can do almost a full split. Then kicks forward. Oh, it's on one of these, like, turning hinges that I've seen them do. That's pretty cool. See that? That's pretty cool. So you get a lot of range of motion there. Uh, though you can't go backwards, which is odd. Swivel at the thigh. Works all right. Single jointed knee. Rocker is pretty rocking. Both ways. And I can go back and forth on a ball joint. So, uh, not bad. You know, the articulation, uh, I'm going to say, is pretty good. All right, so uh, let's talk about this guy in full. We mentioned, okay, all the gray. Um, but he does have other paint, and uh, it does have other color, and it does look decent, you know, pretty much. I don't like the legs that much, I'll be honest. I feel like they're too long, and I don't like the thigh to the like calf region you know what i'm saying like i i feel like I th there's something off proportionally there um it's got some decent sculpt on the inside of the leg the foot looks really nice no doubt about that i like the front of the foot the front of the leg i should say you got the gun metal which looks great you got a little bit there which looks good the Wheels on the side actually look really nice, gotta say. You know, they're painted in the rims, so that's pretty good. The back is like absolutely nothing to look at. You know, some sculpt work, some die cast content, wheels. This back part looks pretty good. Looks like it's painted. It's not bad. Um, you know, the back of the arms, not much to look at there. Uh, then. The knees are pretty good. I do like the knees. So that's not so bad. And then getting to the midsection here. You got this really nice gunmetal paint here. Uh, and also all in here. It's like a lighter paint. I Why couldn't this be that? You know, like the yellow looks really nice. The gray here. Then you got the silver across. You got the... Um, windows that are clear you got the black paint there then you open it up and there's you know there's nothing there uh, um autobot symbol looks pretty good printed on both oh actually this side is messed up on mine look at that a little battle damage i guess yeah you got some silver paint up it on here on both sides the pipes uh look okay and the grating gray that's what i'm gonna call it the elbows look and bicep here aren't bad. You got some nice molded detail here, but you know, it's painted on the inside for truck mode, I guess. Um, but yeah, you get all of that ugliness on the uh, outside. Um, I just find it ugly. Um, the head sculpt is pretty good. I feel like his head is like tiny, but. Faceplate looks pretty good. The eyes look pretty good. A lot of nice detail there for sure. You got the proper amount of paint on it. It's not bad. So it's not terrible. I feel like my eyes, uh, eyebrows are like scuffed, but I think that's just the sculpt. Top part here looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm very conflicted. I don't know if you can tell. Um, this parts of this I don't like, uh, and you know what it is—the mainline prime. 
you know there's something about that figure that's kind of charming with all the gray it's weird but for some reason when you give me all of this good stuff and then you give me all of the bad stuff it just highlights the bad stuff more you know like i feel like a uh, studio series should give us more and um a lot of times they don't like i feel like one of the reasons why i kind of you know, stop collecting it more fully was was kind of that, you know, like a little disappointed in uh, the potential of what it could be compared to what it actually is, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Proportions, like I said, to me feel a little bit odd, but, you know, it's not the, I'm not tossing this to the side or anything. It's still a prime and I, I still like it, um, but... And the articulation, as you saw, was really great. But, you know, I, I, I am disappointed. You know, I feel like this could have been even better. For your size comparisons, first up here, he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee. And I gotta say, I didn't love Bumblebee, but you know what? I feel like he's better than Prime in the paint department. He's got a lot more going on. Maybe it's because it's more compact. But I also don't see any of that really ugly gray. I'd rather this kind of darker gray. This just like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's not good. It's not what, you know, Prime looks like in the movie. So, I, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. Here he is with the uh, mainline Prime, and I, I don't know, man. You know what? Um, this guy's got that, like, gray too, but for some reason, the way they lay this out and uh, the proportion of the figure, I honestly like this figure better. Um... He's just, like, more heroic looking overall. And there's something cool about, you know, he might not be accurate or whatever, but, like, I don't know. He he doesn't have these, like, weird proportions that Prime, you know, that Studio Series Prime does. Um, like, he's more proportional to his head, even. And uh, there's just something to be said about it. I, I, I don't know what to say, but... I, I look at these two, and I look at them right now, and I'm like, yeah, I, I like the mainline better. He's just cooler looking, even with all the gray. It's just, you know, there's no bones about it to me. Like, it's just, it works. It works on that one the way they did it, the way they laid it out. Here he is with the Bumblebee Studio Series, but this is the premium finish one, which is whole other worlds of better. Um, this is what I want from Studio Series, guys. Okay? Uh, I'll pay a little bit more, guys. Uh, I will. But this is what I want. This is how I want my, uh, movie figures to look. Like, they should be different. Um, and th this is, this is, just, I... <sighs> Forget that figure. <laughs> this figure, look at this guy. This figure is awesome. This design was better, too. Um, he's just cooler looking. Um, this one, like, started going more towards the Bay vs. Prime once again. Where this is just, you know, that's Prime. Right? That's just Prime. Was that Optimus Primal's cue? Because I think it was. Here he is with a bunch of um, movie Optimus uh, Primal figures. None of them really scale... Uh, oh, well, with the Studio Series, so we're going to have to wait for the the Studio Series a version of Primal for that. Uh, but yeah, here is a, a bunch that are on the market now. And in that grouping was the Yolo Park uh, one. And here, um, and honestly, it's the, the le my least favorite of the three Yolo Parks, to be honest. Uh, now that I've had them for a little while. But, you know, obviously this doesn't scale, but there's Bumblebee. Uh, but this is something I we need to talk about uh, because look this 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 is this is a problem to me the price of this is pretty much just a, a couple bucks a few bucks less uh, than this and look at this yes this doesn't transform but are you kidding the proportions are so much better the paint is there, and, you know, where there's no paint, there is a, a nice dark gray plastic. This is, um, crazy, 
And this guy feels awesome. He's like a figure arts. And look at all the detail. Like, uh, I, that, this, that's tough. Yes, he transforms. But he's not giving you a lot, man. And Hasbro is making a bazillion more of these than these. And um, the, the, the pricing is just bananas um, when you're considering what you're getting here. So, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. You know, like maybe there's some accuracy things going on here. Uh, but at the same time, why wouldn't you want this instead when that looks like that? That's just, this is this is what I'm saying. Like, this is fully fully painted. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I I don't know. I I don't know what's right and what's wrong here. But um, I know Hasbro is a huge huge company that produces a ton of these. So the budget gets a little bit skewed when you really uh think about how that budget is spent um i don't i don't see it i don't see how they can't give us more in the paint department of that i just don't I, it just makes no sense to me so with that all said there's only one thing left to do then that's transform and roll out Prime and I can't get this to stay right in front there um, but it doesn't matter because this might be the worst it looks good from the front but it might be the worst overall truck mode ever because look at this what is happening here who thought this was a good idea this is the worst back of the truck I've ever seen on any Optimus figure um, rolls just fine even though i feel like it's not completely together but i'm not going crazy about that you got the silver paint that goes from the here all the way to the front and that looks good you got the silver paint we saw before you got this grill here in that beautiful gray the wheels like i said look really good you know it says to keep these open but why <laughs> i don't know it looks fine closed um, I, I hate this, guys. I, this is ugly. Um, I'm not gonna even show you, like, storage for the other stuff. I don't care. Uh, I mean, here it is, but where does it even go? Does it go in here? I don't know. I saw a hole. I don't think so. It's supposed to go on the bottom, on this wee-wee here. Maybe. I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. It's not going to help it. Um, that's just the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. And for your size comparison in a truck mode, here he is uh, with Scourge and an Optimus. That looks way better. Like, I mean, flat. Nice. And this isn't even, this isn't even together either right now but it's still <laughs> at least looks neat even not completely together 
Oh my gosh. What is happening here? Oh. And look how nice and fat this cab is. Ah, so good. Yeah. Oof. And my final thoughts, unfortunately, you know, obviously I am disappointed in this one. Uh, I think it could have been a lot better. Uh, I think it misses the mark in a lot of spots. I mean, I didn't even talk about it, but the transformation is the pits. I hated it. My fingers hurt both ways. So, uh, not so hot in that aspect. The gray is just grating. Like, I just, I can't stand that, you know, Hasbro just keeps doing this and getting away with it and, like, people just don't complain about it. I know some folks complain about it, but, like, it's not vocal enough and they can definitely do more. I mean, you know, when it comes to the math of uh, the production, that's something I know a little bit about and I, I just don't see it. Like, I just don't see why they can't add more here for the price point. And if you want to raise the price point, I'm good with it too. What are Voyagers now, like 32 bucks? Make it 36 bucks. Give me some more paint. You know, like, I don't mind that. Like, like I was saying before, the, the premium finish stuff by Takara is just awesome. And that's where it should be. That's where these Transformers should be. And, um, you know, like, it, it's not. It's, and it really needs to be. Like, I feel like Studio Series sounds like a more prestige brand. And it's just, I don't know. Every time I, I delve into it, I'm kind of disappointed, I'll be honest. So, uh, and then you got, you know, they're a uh, licensee, Yolo Park like wiping the floor with them for a price point that's like ridiculously cheap what you have to put it together it's not a real kit it's a build a figure you know and those are just like phenomenal they don't transform but who cares like come on come on guys um hasbro you could do better than this uh i i know some uh, like i said some folks love it count me amongst those that are railing against this because this is just not acceptable uh, and, uh, in my opinion, I mean, your little mainline Optimus had more charm than this guy does. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, or share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Diversify your collection. Get yourself some Transformers. Uh, but maybe skip out on, uh, some of these Studio Series because, eh, they could be better. Till next time, peace out, peeps.